and the song I wanted to use for it. Um, anyway, so I got I, I talked to David on the phone. He kind of gave me a sense of the. And if you've ever heard him talk, interviewed, he talks very much like this. It's like he's very like you're almost like is he really talk like that? <laughs> David Lynch. And uh, so and so he, he wished me luck, and, and I went and I wrote the song, or the beginnings of the song, which uh, became the song Tear on the Adore album. So I submitted the demo, a week goes by, I don't get any response, and so I get this message, he wants to talk to you, so I called David at home, and I said, yeah, did you, you know, did you get the demo? Yeah, I got the demo. And I said, uh, so, uh, you know, what do you think? He goes, Billy, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Now, in the egoism of the moment, I'm like, I just, melancholy? Like, you know, like, like I think I know what I'm, and he's like, now I'm willing to, I think you should go back and do something, to, you know, it's like this whole thing of like, basically, no. The very nice, the very nice David 1950s version of no fucking way. <laughs> so, now I'm scrambling for time. Now, in a totally unrelated universe, right? I had a music publisher who had, and this is 1997, when he was on the Orlando Magic, he had signed Shaquille O'Neal, the rapper, <laughs> right? This music publisher, who was my music publisher. Um, and he called me and said, are you interested in writing a song for Shaq? <laughs> and I sat down at the piano which, by the way, is in another uh, unrelated synchronicity. I, I got into a near fight over in a music store with Pat Denizio of the Smithereens. Because he oh, wanted the piano. The piano. Oh, God. So it's the piano I stole from Pat from the Smithereens. And I sat down at the piano and thinking like, I don't know, I guess I was thinking of that sort of Dr. Dre production. I wrote the riff for what became I. And so when David Lynch said, nicely, no effing way, I thought, well, I've got this riff that I was going to give to Shaq. <laughs> and, and the reason I didn't give it to Shaq was I got the message, you know, hey, you need to call Shaq, right, oh to work with Shaq. And they know, at the, at the point I was a big NBA fan, so I call Shaq at his house in Orlando. It sounds like there's a party going on, <laughs> you know, and he's like, what's up? And, uh, and I'm like, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, I, I, you know, the guy, and they mentioned the guy, and you know, he said to call you about working together, and you know, and he's like, yeah, sounds cool, come on down here. I'm like, to Orlando? He's like, yeah. I'm like, you're not gonna come to New York or LA? And he's like, no, I, I we'll work in Orlando. And so those two things dovetailed together, and I was like, do I want to go to Orlando and work with Shaq, or do I want to give this song to David Lynch? And I gave it to David Lynch, and he loved it, and that's how the track ended up in the movie.